Hello everyone, I'm your instructor Victor Campos and welcome to Search Engine Optimization Online. A little bit about myself then we'll get the class started. I've been an instructor for continuing education since 2008. I've taught a variety of classes that all relate to each other. Those would be Search Engine Optimization, uh, Web Design with WordPress, social media, blogging, all of these classes that relate to each other that are very valuable in its totality. In this class we'll be focusing on search engine optimization. Since 2007 I've also taught at Southwestern College similar types of classes web design, HTML programming, Photoshop graphics, all of that stuff. Before that, after I got my degree in the early 2000s, I became a web marketer and worked in various companies where we made websites, ran social media campaigns, engaged in SEO. So I offer both perspectives from the professional side of things and the educational side of things, and I'm happy to share my knowledge. This class has an online component in Blackboard so after our first day of orientation you should have the material to log into Blackboard. Once you've logged in for week one you will see that we've got the syllabus to work with, we've got the client company profile and we've got the SEO one long tail strategy document. Those are the things you're going to need for week one. You'll also need a web browser, any web browser will be fine Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, etc. I'm going to use one called Vivaldi, but any web browser will work. And everything we'll be talking about will work for Windows or Mac. You do need a little bit of computer experience, nothing fancy, but you should be able to open web browsers and files and log into websites and that sort of thing, basic stuff. And you should be comfortable doing this class at your own pace. Uh, with my help of course through Blackboard but at your own pace as much as possible. To get started I'm gonna look at the syllabus first for a moment so go ahead and open up the syllabus and we'll take a quick look at it together. I won't read this word for word you should check it out on your own but my contact info is at the top Blackboard login or orientation by the time you see this video you already came to the orientation and it was a great time the description is basically that if you've got a website, how do you get people to find it? Nowadays, if you're not on the first page of results, people will not visit your site. Through SEO, students will learn how to rank high on search engine results through the latest techniques applied on your site. Search engine marketing helps you increase your audience outside of your site and is integral to success. So what I'm saying here is a lot of people nowadays uh, search, they use Google, they use Yahoo, Bing, whatever, they search for things. And many, many people assume that the first page of results is the best result, even though Google gives 10,000 results, 1 million results, people are really going to look at the first 10 or so. So we have to engage in search engine optimization. We have to learn the do's and don'ts the tips and techniques to get us to rank on the first page, possibly the second page, but to get out of page 10, to get, paid out, to get out of page 50 of these search results. And SEO, search engine optimization, is the art and science and magic of getting found. Because as we will see, even if you follow every technique of the class, that does not guarantee that you will get top billing. You might have a lot of competition and for a variety of reasons might not ever be number one. But if you're on page one, that's still gold. If you're number one, page one, that's gold dipped in platinum. But what if you're number one on page two? That's still valuable, much better than being page 12 or page 20. Notice I also mentioned the concept of search engine marketing. SEM. In this class we will be talking about SEO, search engine optimization, and SEM, search engine marketing. In a nutshell, very very succinctly, 
SEO is what you do on your website. The things we'll be learning about what you should be doing on your website to help you get found. SEM is what you do outside of your website, basically. What are you doing on ancillary websites besides your own? So if we want to rank well nowadays, we have to engage in both SEO and SEM. In this course, we will be using freely available web resources because we will see that we can pay for better ranking and better results, but we will be focusing on the free aspects of SEO. We're not going to be talking about PPC, which is pay-per-click, paying for ranking and results and such. We'll be doing it free. The reason for that is because if you pay for results, they work, definitely. But you'll need to keep paying on the long-term basis for it to keep working for you. And if you've already got a budget dedicated in your business for other things, to now add 20 to $200 a month on marketing on the search engines, that might be out of your budget. So we'll be focusing on the free stuff. We'll mostly have lecture videos with demonstration and such to help you succeed in the course. Notice nowhere in the syllabus do I mention about homework assignments and grades and such because there are no homework assignments and grades in this class. This class is not part of a certificate major therefore there's no homework, there are no assignments, there are no grades. You don't get a grade at the end of the course, you don't get a certificate but what you get out of it tangibly perhaps is the ability for your website to be ranked well on the search engines and then be found by people that's much better than a grade I think. The whole point of SEO is, is to help you get ranked so that you can get traffic and sales or whatever you're trying to do online. The outcomes of the course. Define what SEO is, why it is important. Understand the importance of SEM. Develop a long tail keyword strategy. Set up Google and Bing webmaster tools. And research and optimize backlinks. So in this class, we'll be focusing on Google optimization and Bing optimization. Why? We'll discuss in detail later. But these are the two biggest search engines capturing more than 80% of all the global market share of search. So it behooves us to optimize for both. Google is at approximately 60% market share and Bing is at approximately 20%. So it's very important for us to target both recommendations that I have here. It's recommended students already have a website to optimize. It's recommended that it's a WordPress website. You should have access to your login information for, for said website. If you don't have any of them, you can still enroll in the course and learn the information and apply it at a later date. Now I'm going to be using the terminology of website and your business and your product and that sort of thing. But these concepts will apply to any online presence. Let's say I'm a painter who simply wants more people to find my paintings and enjoy them, to see my paintings online. That's it. I'm not trying to sell them. I just want to share my art. SEO still applies for that particular use case. What if I'm a band and I want to get more gigs? So SEO will be valuable too, so that these clubs can find me and book me or whoever, so that they find me, my online presence, and I get gigs. And of course, most of the time I'll be talking about a business, a company, products, and sales and such. And that's perfectly fine either or. All of these techniques will apply. I mentioned that I prefer WordPress. There are many ways to make a website. They're all valuable. They're all valid. If your website software does what you need it to do, then it's the right software. But if you're just starting off in web design and building a website in an e-commerce site or whatever, I recommend WordPress. My company has been using it for years. And it works very well. It's very powerful. And one of the great aspects of WordPress is that its price is a very affordable zero dollars. 
Now there are other things that are not free to build a website which we'll talk about later but if you're thinking about starting your website WordPress is the way to go. You'll need your login information because eventually we're going to connect Google and Bing directly to your website and that means we need to edit aspects of your website. So make sure you have some sort of login information. If someone else built your site, well you'll need to get that info from them. A knowledge of basic computer usage is also recommended. Being comfortable with working at your own pace on your own computer is highly recommended. Again, the online learning environment is not the same as coming to class and having the instructor there that you can chat with one-on-one. -on -one. In an online class, more of the onus is on the, in, on the student to get what they need from the instructor. I'll be providing you handouts and videos and such, but it's going to be up to you to implement the things. And we have a discussion board on Blackboard where we can communicate, but it's not the same as being in person. So you should be comfortable with how your computer works, your software is up to date, you have your web browser and PDF viewer, basic computer things. If you don't have these things, if you don't understand what I've just said, it might behoove you to take a more basic computer class first and then sign up for this one because it's offered every month. I have two books that I recommend here. One is the SEO 2016 and Beyond and the other is the SEO Checklist. You can follow those links there and uh, check out those books. These are very valuable books. They're completely optional. You do not need to buy them. They are optional material that is uh, valuable to supplement what we'll be talking about. If you had to pick one of them, I would do the SEO 2016 and beyond. And if you have the money, I'd do both. And they're both about like seven or eight dollars each. So not very expensive. And I take from that book and synthesize knowledge and present it to you in the class but there's no one book that encompasses all of this stuff because it's ever-changing. If you require any DSPS accommodations let me know and we can do our best. If the syllabus changes I'll let you know and upload it back to Blackboard so you have a latest copy of it. Here's our course calendar what I hope to accomplish this month. I'll probably slip up and say this semester but what I mean by that is we have a month-long class four weeks long. I'm counting it as a semester, but that's what we're doing this month. There's uh, the information about the course all there laid out for you. It's on Blackboard. You can access it whenever you'd like. So I'm going to end this video at this point. Follow along on the next video to actually get started. If you have any questions, send me an email, get in touch in Blackboard, and I'm here to help. So thank you for enrolling in the course.